Hello, and welcome to Art Song Experiment, Episode 4. I'm Epen Leubner, the founder of Denver Art Song Project and your host. If you are new to the art song genre, please check the link below for Episode 0, Introducing Art Songs, and be sure to watch that video first. It'll help you understand what it is that we're doing here. Typically, we have an agenda, but today we have a special guest, Stephanie Ann Ball, a star of Denver Art Song Project and the curator of The Pillars of African American Art Songs will join us. Let's forego the agenda. Episode 4 starts now. Stephanie, thanks so much for being our first guest on Art Song Experiment named Stephanie. I know it's a dumb joke, but it's worth it. Um, <laughs> ah, well, it's worth it to me, you know? It's important to make me laugh. Uh -huh. um, so you're new to the show, so I'd like you to just take a second and introduce yourself to our Art Song friends and tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, of course. Well, first, thank you for having me. It's lovely to be here. And uh, my name is Stephanie Ann Ball, and I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You and I met a couple of years ago at an audition and discovered that we both shared a love for Art Songs. So yeah. that's kind of my fun fact. I love them. It's one of my favorite mediums to spread classical music around. I think they're delightful and you can create a really cool, intimate atmosphere from them. And I just love them. So I'm happy to be here. Great. Well, uh, I wanted you to talk a little bit about the song that you introduced me to. And it's by Undine Smith Moore and it's called Love Let the Wind Cry. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the song? Yes. So when I was exploring pieces. I was just kind of perusing YouTube to find some different things. And the second I heard the song, I was totally in love with it. It's just so dramatic and powerful. And it has these big dramatic swells and this cool chanting section in it. And I just knew that it was something really special that I wanted to perform and get out to a wider audience. That's a great uh, point because it really does open with a bang. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things uh, that I think is really interesting about your choice of this song is that you actually folded it into your show that you curated for us last year. Um, for those of you who don't know, Stephanie is actually the first curator for Denver Art Song Project. She took a show from beginning to end and she designed it, she hired the singers, she did all the work, um, and I kind of ducked and stayed out of the way. <laughs> Um, but you enfolded this song into a show called The Pillars of African American Art Song. So I thought maybe you could just tell us a little bit about the show, why you worked this song in, and what, you know, what, what should an audience take away from it? So I started exploring concerts that were around the theme of black history a few years ago. And when I started doing that and really dove into the repertoire, I just discovered that the sheer volume of songs by black composers is massive and there's all sorts of incredible texts that have been set to music by black poets and I knew that I wanted to create something specifically to showcase them so that's where I got the idea of doing pillars from and this song was just something natural that I it was a natural idea to just include this piece because Undine Smith Moore is known as the Dean of Black Women Composers she's incredible and she's had in her career, she had so many compositions. And so, you know, I went, well, this is perfect. I wanted to do something to showcase the women composers in the genre. So naturally that song sort of led the way in putting that together. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So now's the point where we're gonna segue. Typically we do an art song experiment where we, you know, do something weird with an art song. In this case, because we have a guest star, <laughs> we're actually gonna show um, Stephanie uh, and Mallory Bernstein performing Love Let the Wind Cry from our art song TV show where we just do a performance of an art song. So now you know a little bit about the background. Let's go right to the video. Oh, I adore thee, 
Well, thank you for joining us, Art Song friends. Um, and thank you to Stephanie Ann Ball, who is our first uh, guest artist on this show. It's been a real treat to talk to you. So thanks for coming out from Philly to, oh. to join us. And <laughs> I can't wait to work with you in the coming season. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Please help us get the word out and spread the joy of all this great music by giving us a like, giving us a share, and telling all your friends about us. I would be remiss if I did not mention that we have CDs. And those CDs, you can click below and you can get links so that you can buy them. That money goes right back into making these uh, videos happen. If you really, really like the videos, please consider becoming a patron. I've got a link down below for that. Being a patron means that you get access to this whole secret world of Denver Art Song Project. You can participate in polls, and those polls will help us choose what songs and what CDs we make next. You can see our videos early. You can get access to the Metacam, where you get to see behind the scenes, there's outtakes and bloopers. It's a lot of fun. Um, and also, you'll be connected to a group of people, other patrons like yourself, and you can talk with them. Um, we can share stories about art songs, share whatever you want to. It's a great uh, space that's just for our special uh, patron friends. And you can also get your name in the description below, or if you're really feeling like being a big spender, which I know you are, um, you can have your name in the credits. So uh, let's close, as we always do, with the words of the poet Theodore Rothke. If you can't think, at least sing. I think she says it better than me. <laughs>